Okay. Remember we we did something like this. Uh, select star from student comma department. As I said, this will take the data from two tables, a Cartesian product of it. So you'll see so many lines. If you want the students who are who who satisfy this condition that is select star from student comma if you do not want the Cartesian product you just have to say where they have common column in them that is department number so you just have to say student dot department number equal to department dot department number then they will match and only those entries will be fetched which match the depart suppose now if you see these two tables see the department numbers one two three four five six only those students who have department number one two three four five six will be fetched so let's see so which department is not represented in student table i think if you see the students there's no student from department one right that is mechanical so i think if you say name and name from student and department name from department so i'll just say nobody from mechanical because there are no students from mechanical if you see here no students has department number one and department number three also that is uh, electrical no one from electrical and mechanical see our ultimate result of the query that's because we write this condition student dot department number should be equal to department dot department number now i don't want to write this because i know this two tables have department number table in common they have some relationship so what i can do is i can write this a join query where i say select star from student natural join department well then this is something new natural join works exactly like the query we wrote uh, just before this right we just do this and we got the exact same thing and it doesn't even repeat any of the common columns so if you just write this maybe we want to project only a few things out of this so we'll just say select um, name that is from student and department name from department from student natural join department so if everything goes well i got name and student name and department name from the natural join see again it skipped the electrical and mechanical because there are no students from those departments so it's pretty good yeah it saves us some coding or oh, sorry, sorry typing right okay uh, so let's see what other kinds of joins we have we have then just we just saw natural join then we'll see the inner join inner joins is pretty much the same as natural join except for the fact that it repeats the it repeats by default the common column so let's just say select star from student first let's say natural join department if we say natural join again without projecting any column so we are looking for all columns so see you got all the columns and you got department number only once not twice from student and department now if you just change this to inner join as i promised everything remains the same it just duplicates the common column so sorry for that we just go here and instead of natural join we'll just plus inner join and now i think that column will be deep okay okay something happened okay okay in case of inner join we need to specify the condition uh, some some the syntax is a bit different so let's just say inner join department on we just have to go on and say something yeah so we just have to specify department uh, number sorry student dot 
department number equal to department dot department number so it's pretty much like we just have to specify it but this is the syntax i want inner join and if you go for this inner join you'll see that it works exactly like your natural join except for the fact that it repeats this department number column because that's a common column amongst two table so again we can remove this by specifying the columns you want to project instead of star otherwise both inner join and natural join are the same see when you specify inner join you have to and have to specify this on clause we have to give the common column from both the tables and you have to match their values as a condition all right what is the next type of join then we have left join so in order to left join to work we just have to remove the foreign key so we shall remove the foreign key at the table student drop foreign key student underscore ib fk underscore one i think that should yeah so we remove the foreign key now now we need to insert some students who do not belong to any department or we might just change them so let's say scarlet belongs to department number 10 which doesn't exist because it's not there in the department table at all there's no department number 10 so we just want to make sure there's one more student like there maybe let's say mandy mandy belongs to department 15 which doesn't exist because there's no department number 15 where is it okay so there's no department number okay just maybe i just want to go to department there's no department number 15 so now mandy uh, sorry now this mandy and scarlet are not from appropriate departments right so what we do now is uh, we do the left join now what left join does is it joins the two tables brings the appropriate rows where there's a department number match now if there's a mismatch of department number from the left table of the relationship that in this case now left table is student because we are writing student left join department so if there's a mismatch from student side it will still list the student and will list the corresponding right side entries that is department entries as null so let's just do that all right so what we're going to do is we're going to perform the left join so you get select star from student left join department so in this join the left hand side is student and right hand side is department on student or department number equal to department dot department number now let's just run this once now if you see the result here whenever there's a match so for these many rows if you can see from the, the few rows first few rows there was a match so the data from appropriate uh, what you could say tables came but for the two rows from student table that is mandy and scarlet there was no match of department number in the department table in that case because we used left join we still got the data from left hand side of the table that is student table and the corresponding entries of department number and department name were made as null so it will still include the, any mismatch from left hand side let's put the mismatch in the department actually so let's put uh, right so let's put so department which is not there in the student so i guess there's one and three already are not representing in student nobody from one and three right so now let's try to get right side of the data without a match so pretty simple just think we need to do instead of left join we'll just say right join and now so we uh, we got the data which uh, belong to the proper match so there are proper five matches or for the departments which did not match any students and the corresponding student values were all null so in the right join we get the miss if there's a mismatch on the condition we get the data from right hand side 
that is right right hand side table that in this case in this syntax it is department and the corresponding left hand side table entries are null kept as null now we see the extreme case that is the full outer join you can see full outer joins are not supported in the mysql database so what we can do is either we can uh, do it on your oracle or for now we can just simulate that thing so okay left join and we'll copy this and we'll say union right join so we'll take a union of both results but so we'll take basically union of left join and right join results and basically that's what full outer join is if you see i'll show the results whenever there's a mismatch either from the student side or a department size the corresponding mismatch table uh, the corresponding entries are kept as null see here mandy and scarlet belong to departments like 15 and 10 which do not exist so the department data came as null and here for department electrical mechanical and petroleum there are no students so the corresponding student data has come null so this is full outer join so usually the syntax is uh, like this if i have to tell you the full outer join it's simple instead of left you say full outer join but unfortunately mysql doesn't support full outer join so what we did was we took the right join sorry left join and right join and we just took the union which is a very very handy thing so we got the results combined results of both uh, left join and then right join and which is nothing but your full outer join so that's joins for you uh, joins are used to take the data from multiple tables